to Sydney. This, you the guys don't mess around with a flight. I left on Sunday and I got here Tuesday. Monday disappeared. <laughs> there, there is no Monday in my life. Like I never get that day back. This girl said, we need to talk. I'm like, we'll talk on Monday. <laughs> it's good to get away from the States. I had to get away from home and a lot of pressure. Pressure back home. They're mad at Barack Obama. And I mean, they are mad. The Tea Party is mad at Barack Obama beyond all reason. They just walk around yelling like, we hate change and you haven't done a damn thing. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to pick one here. You wouldn't believe, there's a lot of people in the States that still don't accept Barack Obama as president. They think it's Will Smith playing Barack Obama. Because <laughs> Will is the only brother they'll truly accept. And don't think I'm one of those people that gives Barack a free pass, you know, just because he's a black president. I'm watching his ass. He better not screw this up. No, really, because if Barack Obama screws up, there won't be another black president for 400 more years. But they'll, blame, they'll blame slavery on him, watch. The other reason I don't need Barack Obama screwing up is because I don't need white people giving me that look. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that it's racist. I think it's a little subconscious, but whenever I'm around a group of white people and somebody black does something stupid, they look at me as if I were somehow involved. <laughs> You know, just be watching the news, be like, Tyrone Johnson just robbed a liquor store that... <laughs> well, I don't know, Tyrone. I was not in on the liquor store plot. <laughs> They're upset, man. Barack Obama passed health care. The right wing, the Republicans lost their mind. They hated health. I didn't know, but apparently health care is in the Bible like two days before Armageddon or something. <laughs> But they lost it. And, and this is the thing that kills me about Barack Obama. The right wing has proven they're not going to support Barack Obama. Anything he says, no. Barack won't, no. But I, no. And yet he keeps trying to get them to come on board. And Barack, he tries stupid stuff. He's up there with things like logic <laughs> and reason. And that, that's not, you want to talk to them, you got to speak in a language they understand. You want to pass health care, you walk out there, you say, look. Jesus said <laughs> that there should be health care and a gun for every American <laughs> except the gays and the Mexicans. <laughs> and we need health care, man, and we need it. You know why? You know why we need health care? Because the swine flu is back. That's right, people, the swine flu is back. Swine flu is the only disease that comes and goes depending on what else is in the news. <laughs> Early last year, it was all about the swine flu. Swine flu, you're gonna get swine flu, you're gonna die. Here comes swine flu, you're gonna get swine flu. Michael Jackson died, forget the swine flu. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. We got Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. They buried Michael Jackson, swine flu is back. You're gonna get the swine flu, you're gonna die. Here comes swine flu, watch out for swine flu. Tiger Woods is screwing around. Don't even think about swine flu. We got tiger, 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 ti tiger's done. Swine flu's gonna kill you. I love the swine flu. It's all fear. They always try to keep you scared. Every day, something's gonna go, oh my God, it's the worst pandemic in history. We're all gonna die unless you uh, wash your hands. That's it, that's the expert medical advice. Yeah, hey, you can kiss a pig as long as you wash your hands. They're worried about the swine flu. What happened to the bird flu? Remember the bird flu? Weren't we supposed to be dead by now? No, really, I don't know about you, I stopped paying my bills. Hello, Visa, bird flu's coming, I ain't paying. No, we're all gonna die, it's on CNN, I don't care about my credit score. Bird flu, sick chickens. That's what that one was. They tried to scare us with sick chickens. We got two wars going on. We got a worldwide economic crisis. There's a terrorist hiding behind every tree, and I'm supposed to be scared of a few sick chickens? <laughs> oh, 50 people died in China. Really? There's a billion of them. <laughs> That's right. I'm not going to panic because a few of them checked out. I wasn't scared of bird flu. I was trying to catch the bird flu. Maybe it'll offset my SARS. 
Yeah, you remember the SARS. Every time an Asian coughed, oh no, it's the SARS. Think I was worried? Hell no, I was shooting up with the SARS, trying to beat my mad cow. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're gonna get, don't eat that hamburger, you'll catch mad cow. What, you think I was worried? Not at all, vaccinated myself with the anthrax. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all fear. Every day, we're, we're all gonna die. It's the end of the world, the end of the world's coming. You know when it's gonna happen? 2012. Yeah, you know who told us that? The Mayans. I've been around the world four times. You know something I've never seen? A Mayan. <laughs> Not one, never bumped into a guy at the airport. No shit, you're a Mayan? I'll be damned. Yeah, I'd love to worry about 2012, but I'm still waiting for this whole Y2K thing to kick in. <laughs> you remember the Y2K, right? Right, your computer's gonna explode, the banks are gonna, oh my God, healthcare, the health records are gonna disappear, the world's coming to it, oh, didn't happen? Ah, well, Happy New Year. <laughs> they, they, they never explain when the world doesn't end. It's like, nah, don't even worry about it, be okay. I got the global warming, have you heard? It's getting hot outside. <laughs> getting hot outside and we're all gonna die. Once again, that's my problem. As soon as you put fear on it, global warming is science. We're all gonna die, now it's fear, now I'm asking questions. Okay, Mr. Weatherman, you're telling me how hot it's gonna be in 50 years? How come you don't know if it's gonna rain next week? <laughs> how about this, my scientific friend? You work on a difference between partly sunny and partly cloudy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Once you've solved that little mystery, we'll work our way up to Armageddon. Yeah, you can clap, you can clap. You guys are like, he's black in Sydney and he's funny. We're not sure how to handle this. <laughs> Aren't a lot of them here. No, I, I, I just laugh. It's all, it's all about being scared. And now the gay marriage, that's another big one. Is that, I don't even know if you guys got the issue in the States, they're losing them. Oh, the gays, oh, the gays want to get married? Oh my God, it'll destroy the family and the children. What about the children? What, really? really? Is that the problem, gay marriage? Huh? Because my house is worth $8. <laughs> Let me tell you something, two gay guys want to get married and buy my house, there's going to be a wedding. <laughs> That's right, because I got a gun and I'll find a preacher. I love when they have a gay marriage debate. You know why? Because the guy yelling loudest about gay marriage always turns out to be gay. <laughs> and then they have the I'm not gay excuse. We had a guy in the States, Father Ted. He was George Bush's moral advisor. Yeah, and when I'm not at the White House reading the Bible, well, I'm back home in Colorado smoking crystal meth and banging male prostitutes. <laughs> and then the excuse, oh, I'm not gay. The, 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 Satan was tempting me. Let me tell you people something. Satan can tempt me with sweaty man ass all day long. <laughs> you know, Satan is mighty generous of you to offer me that man ass. <laughs> no, really, I understand you're the prince of darkness, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one. <laughs> Thank you guys for laughing. Good night. <laughs>